maintain your lives, deserve your lives. And rid, get rid of, put it away. The scale us. That God can use you as an instrument to this temple. The temple of the Holy Spirit. He lives here and he stays here. Don't entertain the things of the past and the scale has not come for you to see the things in the past and entertain him and run into it for you to possess your own body. So everything links back to the body of Jesus. Say amen. amen. Two questions.
happy to myself and pray for the person. Now they come and tell you they are um, you're not you're not changing or whatever. Then you want to go and say, go kill out yourself again. Because what, what the Holy Spirit teaches us is teach me to tell persons is that we are self-suicide and spirit. So many times we kill myself. Suicide kill myself. We are myself. So you don't know, come yet. Somebody will yeah. wake you up and resurrect you because you're dead already. Mm -hmm. So you pray your prayer still there because you don't realize you're killing yourself already. So you have to tell God, oh, self esteem is beating me. And this door I have to shut. So let me see myself as value. Low self esteem, naiveness. Let me see myself as a value. When you begin to value you, then that type of battle stop coming. That warfare that you challenge you all the time will stop coming. Something new will come. But if you're not here from 1999 and you see a challenge, that means that do you're not healing properly or you're not allowing the world to do either properly. So that is a open door that is spirit coming in. Amen. Mm. Look. Example. When the devil went to Jesus Christ, he took him three different places. He said, turn this soul into bread. Different one that. Came up on a pinnacle. He said, cast on his head. Different one that. He said, if you just bow down and you worship me. So as we go along, we're supposed to go into different tests. Not the same tests. If you're coming back with the same tests, you're not open you're not seeing you changing or embracing change or you're beating yourself when you when you really just bring and say you never do put up all about you embrace the lights right the following so if God used Pastor Davis to tempt me this season he will not use her next season unless there's a new testing coming for me to go higher but different will cause. If they keep coming to see you, we're so wrong. Look into your church. Spiritual. The children of Israel go through the Red Sea one time. And when they go into the wilderness, what different things? And just get tired of what I give them. And I just see it move over, over, murmuring, murmuring, and I get me, I get me, I get me. I get me. I say, all right, I'm going to kill us. I'm going to kill us. Amen. Amen. Then the same thing coming, that means you're not here to it. You don't know the cycle when it's coming. Or you have a open door. Why you all the time? You're not past you. You are past me and I go to something else, but me not passing you. Why you always all the time when we say I'm show by you? Why? We need to pass you. On the other side. Accept you. Listen to you. Sub submit to you. Even though you know me have more ability to go higher. Don't take long every every tree and I know and sit long go for you to teach me. Answer yes, sir. What more? How do you value yourself? First, they acknowledge in the ear that. You don't see your, your value. And what caused you to see not your value in that area? Verbal abuse? Criticism? 
lack of education. So because you cannot really read properly, you just not going to try. You know, put yourself in a position to learn one word each day because what am I saying when I come home? Somebody speak up and your negativity of my life, they just run with it and live that way for the rest of your life. They want to show you that something that be. You have to reverse it. And say, I want to live above that word. Educate yourself. How oh, can I do this? How oh, can I do that? And start push yourself in this area. I'm going to do this today. I'm going to do that tomorrow. And by the end of the year, look. Somebody tell you now, say, you can become a carpenter because you have the ability to become a carpenter. So all for your life, you, you love carpentry, but to them tell you, you don't want to become it. And one day, you say, hey, you love to work now. You go to school, you start to know the things that you do in carpentry, and you educate yourself, and you, know, you start to push. Before you die, you And if you go out and know you have to go catch up and run with it and do a couple of so much areas. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You understand, church? Amen. So as we grow up coming up, we hear a lot of things that kill us. And God is saying, live again. Hey. Live again. Yes, live again. Live above what you hear them say. Live above the talking, talking. Live above it. Hallelujah. Yes, so receiving the spirit of truth, the Holy Spirit wants to come and teach you the truth. But because this spirit is there, you don't want to receive it. So, can I use something? Alright. So all my, you talk about, knowing myself I was religious, sleeping hat, bathing hat, go my bed in a hat, the cover my head, everything. So when he came to me and said that, my ear is my covering, he said, baby, spread a true call. The ear is your covering. The ear is your covering. The ear is your covering. That is the spirit of truth telling me that. It's not the heart of the covering of the ear. Yes. You follow him? So me now to embrace him as the truth. Hey. And drop that. And I'm the heart of the covering. If I come into Rome and I say Rome cover the head, I cover the head to and sit down. But I'm the heart of the covering. It is main principle and doctrine. Hallelujah. Yes. So what are you going to do? God send you the ones of the one. So some little simple things, you know. Spirit of truth come and come to you know and teach you that look man, that was a hey you up man, for him you follow me. Follow me. So we're
Malicious rejected spirit. Yes. Malicious rejected aborted spirit. You will not move into success. So God is saying, sit down and fellowship. Know your brother. Know your sister. And then it will build your ministry to come back. So nobody is going to really challenge you because you're not allowed to come in. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Finally, and then sister, you're good.
God bless you tonight. Hallelujah.